Hey, yo, what's this thing? Yo, I have a crazy battle against this clown named Cabana Marty 456 man. That name is so popular, by the way. He's the LP here, and he happened to accept my battle challenge over Twitter. So now, I'm going to leave it with my choice card of Jack Brown. I'm making a mistake thinking that I could actually outspeed a Deoxys attack. Thank God that he's a Life Orb variant because Ball Strike is able to completely annihilate this clown, man. Instead of the focus ass variant, I have to worry about the freaking Deoxys attack staying there for an extra turn. So now I'm just going to switch out into my Gengar No Full World that the extreme speed is so obvious he's going to definitely want to go for it because I'm locked into Ball Strike. And so I'm going to take this time, go into my Mega Gengar, so I can trap it, go for the taunt just in case he happened to go for like the uh, swords or something like that. So now he goes for the Shadow Force, which is great because you're trapped and I can easily go for the Destiny Bond. And Mega Gengar is something that I personally like to use on things like Arceus and or Mewtwo. So it's ideal for me to get this clown out of the way because Arceus can be a, such a wild card in Uber. So I'm actually happy that I got that out of the way. Now I'm going to go into my... Dark Ride to put on whatever he decides to bring in to sleep. Being his Zekrom, I'm thinking like I'm hoping that he's actually a choice bandit variant as opposed to a choice scarf variant. It turns out that he does not outspeed, so he can be bandit, which is great. Hopefully, he didn't have the sleep talk, so he didn't go for it that turn. Predicted me to put his Pokemon to sleep, so that's great. He's gonna switch out into Genesec now. On the switch out to Genesec, I was contemplating switching up my moves to go in and use Thunder Wave, but I didn't want to waste a turn of sleep because players do tend to do that. Stay the extra turn, and I end up revealing that I have the Thunder Wave when I have no intention of doing that. I want to catch you either on the switch or later on. So I'm grateful that I actually went for the Dark Pulse and able to inflict some damage onto the Genesec. So now in comes my Scissor. And he's going to switch right back out into Genesec after apparently making a double switch, which occurred because he went out to this Togekiss, which is great. And I predict him to switch out his Togekiss, hence me going and using U-Turn as opposed to using Bullet Punch, which would have obviously taken out after previously taking a Sludge Bomb from my Darkrai. So now I'm going to switch into my Palkia because I know that it can handle anything that Genesec has to throw at it. Palkia going for the Thunder just in case he happens to go right back out into his Togekiss because Togekiss at that amount of HP can actually take a special attack. Could take a Hydro Pump, a Fire Blast, but it cannot take a Thunder. I don't think it could take two Thunders. I think if it's specially defensive, it could just barely live one Thunder. I don't want it to get off an unnecessary Thunder Wave on it. Now, me staying in on a Mewtwo Y thinking that I could take anything that I could dish out. That is not the case. Mewtwo Y showing me why it's still one of the most powerful threats out there. Side Strike destroying my Palkia. So now I'm going to go out into my Dark Ride. Go for the Thunder Wave on the Switch onto the Togekiss, which is great. I'm going to go for the Sludge Bomb. Oh, I went a little bit ahead of myself. I didn't go for the Sludge Bomb yet. I thought I did. <laughs> oh my lord. I'm like two years ahead of my own vid, son. But anyway, this is the turn that I was talking about earlier on, which I thought I ended up making before, which I went into my Dark Ride and then flicking on the Sludge Bomb onto the Togekiss, but that's not the case. And then my Scissor comes in now. That's what happened. And I went for the Bullet Punch this turn, me thinking that he was actually going to have like something like Heat Wave predicting me to go for the U-turn again. So now, Zekrom is asleep, which is great because Scissor is the most useless thing I have right now in accordance to beating his party. So I can use this as a go-between. But the sleeping Zekrom gives me an open opportunity to go into my Xerneas. Now, I want to go for the Geomancy, but no me, because I'm Kashif, he's going to wake up the turn that I decide to do it and finish me off with the Choice Bandit Bolt Strike. So I'm not having that. I'm going to finish it off with the Moon Blast right there. Clear cut out of there. So now he's going to bring in his Mewtwo Y, and I am going to take this time to go for the Geomancy because I think I can take a Side Strike coming from Mewtwo Y. So I don't think he has anything left that has priority so I can take it and go for the Geomancy and finish everything that he has left over. So that's a great game. He actually went for the Ice Beam because he knew himself that Side Strike won't be able to finish me off so I guess his only chance of winning hence me going for the Geomancy that turn was to get off a Freeze from the Ice Beam so that's why I guess he went for the Ice Beam that turn to try to get off the 10% Freeze but it didn't work out for him and I'm able to finish off the rest of his team with the cheap as Xerneas man shiny baby hope you like it so I definitely did have a lot of fun peace what you doing